I'm Nukila Ivanti. I'm speaking under the umbrella of the Vienna NGO Committee on Drugs and sharing the results of the advocacy I carry out in 2022 and 2023, namely the protection of women from the crimes of human trafficking and drug trafficking. My advocacy was motivated by three cases of women such as Mary Utami, MU to the Karawati TH, and Mary Jane Soloso MGV, who were actually migrant workers who become victims of trafficking and were ultimately arrested and detained for drug trafficking. They were awaiting the death penalty for a drug trafficking case. MU has spent 21 years in prison. The presidential decree in 2023 changed MU's death sentence to life imprisonment. MU was the victim of seduction by members of the drug trafficking syndicate. She was promised to marry, but instead, she was used as a courier for narcotic to be smuggled before finally being arrested and sentenced to death. Dan TH, who has been on the death row in a large East Asian country since 2011. TH is a victim of the international mafia. She didn't know that there were narcotics hidden in the bag that she was carrying. Dan NGV was arrested in April 2010 after being caught carrying 2.6 kilograms of heroin. NGV stated that the drug had been put into her suitcase without her knowledge. Even though she had presented her defense, the judge ignored MGV and sentenced to death. MGV was almost executed by firing squad in April 2015, before final sentence was postponed and the opportunity for clemency. The execution cases experienced by these three female migrant workers will potentially be experienced by many other migrant workers, especially women. They become victims of the seduction of the drug syndicate, then were arrested and sentenced to death. Also, the practice for the implementation of the death penalty for drug crime case is the culmination of gender-based violence against women, which is layered and intersected with a number of other issues, stigma and discrimination, as well as a legal system that doesn't side with female victims and violations of the right of fair trial. There are many testimonies obtained from former migrant workers and their families that they face difficulties in making a report to the police. Difficult to report as a victim in the destination country and a lack of optimal referral system for victims of trafficking in persons. Therefore, it is necessary for legal enforcement to be more proactive for the identification of victims of trafficking in persons, particularly women and children, to provide an effective prevention system for trafficking in person crime which more inform inform of civil society organization in research advocacy and advocacy and capacity building for preventing these interlinkage crimes